Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? So this is a, uh, you know, a new kind of thing for us. Oh, it runs behind. Like, uh, it, it's on a little bit of a lag. So, what's up, everybody? This is uh, obviously a new thing for us, so be prepared for some technical difficulties. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to try and make this pop. We're going to try and make it happen. I promised you guys we would cook live. Uh, how's that background noise? Is it too much? Usually I unplug all the refrigerators and freezers and stuff over here, but uh, I'm not sure that I really want to do that uh, for the length of this. So, awesome. As you guys can see, we are actually live live in the Skull and Mortar kitchen. It's kind of a wreck in here because we just finished for, uh, filming a uh, smoked pork belly video, which is going to hit YouTube sometime in the next few days. So, looking forward to that. And just in case you missed it, Keith, hello, good to see you. Um, I got some drinks over here. I got a little orange juice, got a little water. It's going to get a little dicey today, guys, because we've been watching these terrible cooking videos. And today, we're going to take the recipe that really kind of like shocked everybody. Uh, and it was a little divisive. Some people said they thought that that mayonnaise recipe, the mayonnaise steak, was going to be good. Some people said not so much. So we're going to try it out and we're going to find out. Uh-oh, let me see what we got. Oh, bummer, dude. Uh, hey, it's all good, dude. Thanks for stopping in, man. Real life happens. I appreciate the love and support for sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll definitely miss you, man. You're, you're a big contributor and I appreciate having you on. So uh, hopefully I'll see you, you know, on, on the next one, man. Um, there are some things that I do want to talk about, though, before we get to it. Uh, Jim there asked for... Uh, some giveaway video or some giveaways. So next Tuesday, I got this bad boy. Let me pull this out here. Oh, I got this guy here. Uh, they sent this was sent to me to uh, use in a video. But to be honest with you, I use like Bluetooth, like all wireless stuff. So uh, this thing just doesn't really work for me. But it is a great thermometer for somebody else. Uh, it's one that's got the hub like. This one stays on your smoker or your grill. This one you carry around so you can read the uh, thermometers and the probes wire into it. So uh, we're going to give this guy away for free next Tuesday. No, uh, you don't pay shipping or anything. We're just going to send it to you for free. All you have to do to get this is be a follower and be on the stream. So if you haven't followed yet, make sure you hit that follow button. Uh, I think that this thing is not super cheap. So, uh, yeah, it'll be... Uh, It'll be dope. Yeah, awesome, man. Uh, glad to see you. Uh, we also, I got to make good on some YouTube uh, giveaways, too. I got two giveaways I got to make good on, so we'll do all that live on Tuesday. We'll just give it away. One's a t-shirt. Uh, one is a uh, aluminum cast pan. So all that stuff will be going out. Uh, so make sure you're here Tuesday uh, to, to get those. Uh, if you want those other two gifts, you need to make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and you leave a comment on the appropriate video. Uh, slide through the post, you'll find it, and you guys will get those. So uh, I could, I use the pan in some videos. I don't have it down here. Uh, I do have it in the box. Is this one? Yeah. So this is the pan that we're gonna give away, uh, and it's was so we've used it in some videos. Totally brand new, totally unused. Man, there it is. You can tell all still in the plastic. So it's a cool pan, and the, the cool thing about this pan uh, is it works on induction burners. It works on regular burners, obviously, and you can uh, put it in your smoker. All you, uh, all I do is just unscrew the handle, throw it right on the smoker. So uh, I was thinking about some other giveaways too, man. I, you can't tell right now because they're most of them are dirty, but I literally have, like, I got this knife I haven't even opened. I got so many friggin' knives, dude. Like. Oh God. There's a broken knife. I have this knife right here. I haven't even opened it. I got knives for days, dude. I get sent so many knives. Here's, here's another chef knife. I literally have like 48 chef knives. So uh, I appreciate people sending them to me for free, but I do only have so much space in the kitchen. Make sure you guys check out Simmons there. Let me pick up this knife. If you guys are looking for like a good cheap knife, 
these uh, Victoria Knox knives are low key bangers, dude. They're uh, not very expensive. I think they're like 30 or 40 bucks or something a piece. Uh, they are thin, like stamp metal, so they kind of wear a little bit quick, but they sharpen up easily. And they're just good workhorse knives. I started my whole business on those bad boys, so uh, I love them to death. They're a good cheap knife if you're looking for one. Um, so, all right. Oh, what's up, Randy? Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Congratulations on 20 years in the wrestling business. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I kind of been stalling a little bit because uh, I'm a little nervous. I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give it a go. Got my uh, wife back here working camera for me. She's going to be moving the camera around a little bit. Again, you know, keep in mind, this is new for us, too. So uh, if there are some hiccups today, uh, well, it is what it is. We do everything bootleg as shit anyway, right? It's just skull and mortar, baby. We are making uh, mayonnaise steak. So uh, we watched a video where we watched somebody cook a steak and boil mayonnaise. Uh, I thought it looked abhorrent. Some people thought it looked good. So we're going to cook it here live. So, hell yeah. Let's see if I can get a little more. All right. So we're going to start with the induction cooker and get our plates ready. I'm a little nervous, guys. I've never done this live before. Usually I can kind of edit and hide some stuff. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting, dude. I am not sure. I'm really kind of ashamed that I'm doing this. It's... I never thought that there would be a time in my life where I was boiling steaks and mayonnaise, but that's what we're doing, you know? If you guys aren't familiar with Randy, but you guys like wrestling, check her out, Randy West. She's all over the internet. She literally is probably the most badass woman in all of wrestling. Uh, she's the wrestler ch women's champion, the global women's crown. That's uh, the wrestling promotion that uh, I run shows. So you already know she's awesome. Oh god, dude! I already have a mayonnaise mess everywhere. Lord, Lord, help me! Yeah, Randy West has a Twitch too. So I haven't seen her do the sewing in a while. She used to do that on Schwartz's channel. Uh, if you, I would love to see you do that again, man. Like the 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 sewing stuff was very cool. You guys want to spice up the mayo? Let's let's do it, dude. We can make that happen. How, uh, what, what level of spice do you guys want to give it here? Because I'm not trying to kill myself. Uh, like, we're definitely not going to do Blackbeard's Ghost. Oh, my God, dude. So much mayonnaise. If you guys know Fred, he hates mayonnaise. Oh, God. Yeah, this is freaking disgusting. I don't know why. It's, I like mayonnaise, too. It's just... I'm just not stoked. Yeah, check out uh, Randy West. She had a cool video where she was walking around in the Sonic Lodge... Uh, that a wrestling show is going down in. I am a mason, so I, I appreciate checking that stuff out. How's the audio, guys? Can you hear everything all right? Like I said, we're, we're doing things different, so I'm not really sure. My microphone's over here. Uh, I was going to do a wireless lab mic, but I couldn't get it to work right. Uh, so I need a little more time for that, but we'll make it happen. Put some of that ass blaster in it. Some ass blaster? You guys want ass blaster in the mayonnaise? I got ass blaster. Let me get a drink of this orange juice, too. Let's see what else. I got some other stuff over here too. Let me hold on. Just I'm gonna be off screen, but I'm gonna still be here talking. Let's see. I got. There's peach serrano. Peach serrano, orange crush, habanero sauce, some tiger sauce, swamp dragon, two different swamp dragons. Got some uh, Thai sweet chili sauce. Yeah, peach serrano. I got some of Malcolm's, Malcolm's Island Fire. I got all kinds of stuff, guys. What do you want to see? But no Blackbeard's Ghost, dude. No freaking way. Anyway, I don't even have any. It's all gone, I think. God bless that for being gone. Let me get this mayonnaise warmed up while we're talking about this. Let's get it going. Yeah, Blackbeard's Ghost always sells out quick, which is ridiculous because it's very expensive. All right, we got one vote for Island Fire. Let's see. 
Yeah, Island Island Fly uh, uh, I, Island Fire is Malcolm Reed. You guys already know I'm a Mark for Malcolm Reed. Uh, thanks for everybody who's uh, lurking in the in the view or thanks to everybody who's lurking the stream as well. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I appreciate the peanut gallery there. All right, let's get this. See, it only needs to be 180, right? To, so we'll stick it at 250. We'll get this going. I think it's probably smart to heat up the mayonnaise, the mayonnaise, before we put the steak in there. All right, so we got two for Island Fire. Put three drops in that smoked mac and cheese, and I've been doing. Oh yeah, it's a, so it, it's good if you use it just like in small increments, right? I try to warn people all the time, but then there's always that dude that's like trying to alpha male everybody, and he's just like, oh, I can do it. Uh, and it's a bad idea. It's not a good idea. It will ruin your life. So, all right. Island fire it is. Uh, would you mind grabbing me that island fire? I haven't even tried this ass blaster yet. I got it in Memphis at that, uh, what is it, the Bass Pro Shops? Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, at the Bass the Pro Shops in the Pyramid. So, while we're waiting for this to heat up a little bit, guys, I just want to show you a couple things. We got some new products coming to the website, skullandmortar.com. They're not there yet, but we always have products that are exclusive to live events. So when I tell you I'm going to be at the market or I'm going to be here or wherever, if you're in the Indianapolis area, stop by uh, because look, we have all kinds of cool stuff. Check this out. Carcosa. Look at that. Tell me that's not one of the coolest labels of all time, guys. And this has been available for a while, for like at least a month live. Then we got this. This has been available for a few weeks. It's Bone Shaker Artisan Wing Sauce. Come on, dude. Dopest labels in the game. Am I right? And here are some things that we can't ship uh, because I'm not 100% sure uh, about how well they will hold up. Uh, dude, I need to come over and get some. We need to film some stuff, too, if you're down. Oh, damn. Whoa. Holy shit. God damn, dude. This thing is... Popping like Terry's mom over here. Woo, let's turn that down to about 190. Well, check this out. Spirit board, smoked salsa. Hell yes. And we got this, if you like Blackbeard's Ghost, we got this here. This will ruin your life, dude. It's probably, it should be around just as hot. Make a deal with the devil. Ruin your life. It's fine. Wow, so if we can get, uh, Nick, can you get this camera and kind of show down inside of here? So just like the video we watched, you can see that the oil is separating. You can use the, you can tilt the, the thing there. And if you need to loosen it up, you can't. But if you look here, see how the oil is separating? And it's definitely bubbling. Um, so we are seeing some similarities with that. Let's drop a little temperature in here and see. Let's see what we're looking at here with this thermometer. What state do you live in? I'm, I'm just kind of worried about whether or not it'll be good when it gets there i guess it should be so we're at around 90 degrees we're going to hold off before we put the steak in uh we're going to try and let this uh, heat up a little bit here boom let's clean this off thanks to Inkbird for sending me this for free so if we ship that bad boy uh if we were to ship it you know uh via priority mail it should probably get there and be fine i would think it's all sealed up so Yeah, I don't want to repeat of the pink sauce. All right, there we go. Some more of that island fire. You can get this at howtobarbecueride.com. Love Malcolm Reed. Flat out. Oh, hold on. Let me get my chubby ass fingers out of the way. All right, so that's what you guys. Yeah, look at that. We can starting to get a lot. Oh my. Jeez. This looks disgusting, dude. Oh, I shouldn't have let you guys talk me into this. Oh, cool. I feel like you weren't supposed to use so much. The sum oh, well, we got to submerge it. Well, let's see. Z Fluffles. This is fun and all, but is someone's ass getting blast or no? I got to be up <laughs> early for work. Well, my ass is probably going to blast after I eat this, dude, because I can't imagine that this is a good idea. So, uh, all right, cool. Well, I mean, we'll, let's try it out, man. We'll ship it out your way and uh, see what you think, man. See how it gets there.
Oh, dude, my hand is gross. You guys don't know this, but I hate it when I get nastiness on my hand. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this friggin' steak in here. I got a, uh, a top sirloin, so I did not wait for, uh, or I did not get a filet mignon. Uh, I just couldn't justify that. I actually got the cheap 20% uh, off steak because it's probably a, oh, geez, there's two of them, okay. Well, this is turning into a catastrophe. Now we're gonna get friggin' E. coli everywhere. Mm. Yo, what's up, Vim Dog? Oh, dude, it's literally, ow, damn, it's like lava on my skin. It's blasting everywhere. All right, guys, I'm gonna up the temperature here. We are fully submerged. Fully submerged. They didn't on the video. Look at it bubbling, dude. It's like a pit of sadness. It's just <laughs> bubbling. Wow, dude, all kinds of... We got a, a, a good little chunk of people on here, man. Hell yeah. yeah. A lot of people <laughs> I haven't seen on here before, so thank you for coming, man. I, I appreciate you guys. If you, oh, oh gee. <laughs> I'm glad you're wearing that apron. I know, I had to cover my <laughs> Mr. Perfect friggin' bootleg rap shirt. Oh, no. Guys, I don't know if this is safe. Yeah, we let's get a lid. Let's get a lid. Let's pop... Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, hold on, now you can see that we don't paint all the way up the wall. It's not a, it's not even a real kitchen. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is just my garage. Well, it was my garage, until we turned it into this studio. This right here is not even a real table, dude. Well, oh my God, it's squirting out everywhere. Do you guys see this? It's literally raining mayonnaise oil. Oh my God. What's up, Jake? We're, uh, we're cooking mayonnaise steaks. I, who cares at this point? We're eating a steak covered in mayonnaise. We're going to cook a mayonnaise steak. It doesn't matter if it's clean. Wow. Pure chaos, guys. Well, I guess we're just going to hang out for a minute, man. Let this happen. I, I kind of thought that maybe we'd hold off on the egg rolls and we'd do the egg rolls another time. Like, maybe we'll do the egg rolls next week. Spam lasts forever, right? You guys want to do the egg rolls tonight? Hell yes, we are. Do you guys want to do the egg rolls tonight too? Because I could be talked into it. You just say the word. Oh my god, dude. It's so the oil has completely separated from the mayonnaise here. Yo, what's up, Marge? Dude, swing through, man. We can hang out sometime. You know I got nothing but love for you guys. Yo, what's up, John Gray? I got a little uh, something for you here in a minute. Yeah, so what's up, man? What are some... Uh, we were talking about knives earlier, man. What are some knife brands that you guys like, man? What are some good ones? I use a lot of Dow Strong knives. I, lot of use a, uh, I use a lot of Vosti. I've had a relationship with Vosti for a while. So, uh, I love them. You know what else we could give away? Some of you longtime viewers of the channel. My YouTube channel. You might have seen, we used to hang this bad boy up back here, and we would make, yo, oh, thanks for following Marge, I appreciate it. This used to be up uh, back here, we used to make jokes about what kind of an asshole would hang a picture of himself, uh, and that was me, so we might, uh, I mean, if you guys are interested, I might be able to throw a little autograph on there, and we could send that out to somebody too, uh, get a piece of skull and mortar history here, it's one of a kind. Yeah. Well, just hanging and banging over here, man. Show everybody your shirt. Oh, you guys, check out this shirt. Hold on. Let me show you this shirt real quick. The steak is still boiling. We're going to check in on it here in one second. I just... How do I get this freaking... Okay. Can you guys see it? Come on, dude. Come on. Uh-oh, Marge says hello to you, Nicole. Hey, Marge. Look at that, guys. Boom. Nick got me that. She already knows how I feel about these these uh, repro wrestling shirts, dude. I love them. That was awesome. It is. It is literally perfect, right? That's why I got the apron on today to make sure I'm covered up. Uh, this guy right here is probably my favorite knife. It's lightweight. It's well balanced. Uh, 
Jake over there is going to recognize this from working with me, dude. I was freaking hammering this bad boy. I love it. I also really like this knife here, this Gaio knife. Gio, I don't even know how to say it. I'm not even a real chef, dude. It's a Shanzu. Uh, I don't think it's a super expensive knife. I think it's like 100 bucks or so, but it's pretty dope. It works well. So let's take a look here, guys, at what's happening. It is very shocking. First off, look at the lid. Look at this hot lava mayonnaise, dude. Actually, we should look. Hold on. Let me get something out so we can dig the actual steak up a little bit and take a look at it. Of course, I got no clay friggin' tongs, dude. It smells pretty bad. Yeah, it does not smell appetizing at all. What kind of a chef has no clean, no clean friggin' tongs, dude? All right, I'll be right back. I got some shears. I can get it out with some shears. What are you doing? Are you going to get some tongs? Yeah, dude. My, uh, literally, I have 7,000 tongs, and I never have tongs. Yeah, dude, don't be sure about it. I'm not sure about it either. I think this is a terrible idea. Wow, dude, you guys are piling in here, man. I appreciate it. What? Yeah. All right, guys. We got some tongs. You know what we got to do here, right? Guys. All right, we're ready to go. Oh we got our tongs clicking. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this, dude. Oh, you guys. Oh, dude, it's molten lava. Oh, wow. It was, uh, so the steak, the steak actually kind of has a nice crust from sitting on the bottom. Look at that. That's weird. Look at that. Friggin' stinks, dude. Wow. This yeah. smells abhorrent. Do you need to check the Oh, it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely not done. It's just burning. It's just burning on the bottom. No biggie. I'm going to eat it either way, guys, because we have to know, is it good? I'm going to, I'm going to use the steak to mix this. All right. We should get Fred down here. There's no way Fred's going to, you guys want to, hold on. Let me call Fred and try to get him to come down here. Paul, where's my phone? Right here, hold on. Oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this. Fred is a longtime favorite on the channel. Hello? Hey Fred, come down here and be on this stream real quick. Alright. Alright, I'll see you in a second. You guys hear how deep this kid's voice is? You remember if you watch a video even two years ago, it sounded like a little pip squeak, dude. Oh, dude, it stinks, dude. So there's no way that this is going to cook all the way through like this, dude. I can tell you, it would literally take forever, like probably a couple hours. Yeah, dude, just freaking, I can send you some, dude. We'll just slam it right on there, dude. Get that bad boy moving. Fred, hurry up. Hurry up, bro. All right, come around here. Don't trip on all these wires. I got wires everywhere, guys. Can you smell it, Fred? Uh, Marge, says she, Marge says she loves you. <laughs> so, all right, guys. What do you think of how it smells in here right now? What's it smell like, Fred? It smells like cheese. It smells like nasty cheese, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at this, dude. Are you interested in eating a piece of this steak? No. <laughs> Look at the... Do you know what this is? Yeah. It's mayonnaise, dude. That we boiled the mayonnaise. <laughs> and on that note, he's out. <laughs> Look at... Look at this thing, dude. <laughs> Friggin'... Oh, dude, chunks are full. <laughs> Alright, guys. I feel like we've left this in here long enough. It has got to be tainted by mayonnaise, right? So here are options, and I'm gonna let you guys pick, alright? No, why would I try that? Do we take... Do we leave it in here and just let it do its thing? Or do we take it out and pan fry it up a little bit and make this, you know, kind of jump start this bad boy? Now, if we pan fry it, sorry, I'm trying to throw some stuff in the trash. I'm not, I'm not really prepared for this, all right? So what we can do is we can pan fry it and eat it a lot faster. Or we can sit here and, I don't know, chat it up. 
Option three, microwave. Dude, I don't even want to do that to my microwave. <laughs> no, so on the video, the guy ends up pan staring it because it's raw in the middle. But he um, he does not. Uh, he pan sears it afterwards. I think you should pan sear it, but I think that you should put a little bit of the mayonnaise in the pan to sear it with it, like butter. Like you usually do with butter. <sighs> Freaking gross, dude. All right. Hey, what do you guys like? What do you guys think about these graphics for the mobile? Do you like this? All right, hold on. Let me let me just stop this for a minute. Okay. All right. Let me get. This is so such a terrible idea, guys. All right. Let me set this over here. There's literally disgusting crap all over my workstation now. I don't even know what to do. All right. So what we're gonna do? Ooh, I don't have any ghost stories or uh, I don't have any gravestones right now. But I do have some of this. God save the queen. So maybe we could. Yo, what's up, Trotter Five One Six? Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm probably gonna die at some point in the next 24 hours due to this experiment. So I do appreciate the lot, the love. So uh, I don't have a fry daddy. You have a ninja air fryer. Yeah, I do have a ninja air fryer. Yo, C Wallace one one zero, welcome to. Oh, we just hit forty so or forty follows, guys. I really appreciate it, man. I'm totally new to streaming, so uh, I'm very stoked, uh, dude. Thank you, man. Very much appreciated. It's good to see you on here. Um, you know, I uh, just a dude trying to have fun cooking, man. So uh, I'm very psyched every time I see people come in here and. Uh, enjoy it with uh with us whether it be on youtube or whether it be here uh on twitch or instagram anywhere uh getting to do this stuff is very cool for me so thanks everybody who follows along we are 10 away from being an affiliate i've only been what this is what my fourth stream and we're almost to affiliate so much appreciated dude Amazing. yeah I don't know, guys. I, I feel like people are into this, man. So we uh, we might keep doing this. Maybe Thursday, maybe Tuesday we'll watch videos, and then Thursday we'll cook gross shit. You know Monday, Wednesday? What did I say? Tuesday, Thursday. Oh, yeah, Monday, Wednesday. Sorry. I got commitments on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, so. Man, look at the, like, yeah, take a look coating. at. That's egg right there. Can you see that? Yeah, look inside here. You guys see this? Guys, I'm going to eat what's in here. And I'm not looking forward to this. That's like that egg part of the mayonnaise, right? It's mayonnaise with eggs, right? Yeah, eggs and oils. <laughs> yeah, two, that's right. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm 100% on OnlyFans. Uh, if you guys want to follow me, I do spread oh my, my cheeks. God. Full spread of the cheeks. That's amazing. Cross promotion. All right, guys. I don't know if you can tell. I'm delaying on purpose. <laughs> Dude, I, lo I love Lingua, dude. Wrestle Arts. Check it out. You guys, hey, you guys want to hear an exclusive Wrestle Arts announcement, announcement right now? Haven't posted it on Facebook? Nothing. I know you guys are here for the cooking, but let me drop a little something on you. All right? You ready? We're going to do Joseph Schwartz, Schwartzy himself, versus Big Sue Jackson. Dude, come on. Tell me that's not going to be hot as hell. That's going to be hot as hell, dude. Whoa, listen to that. Big Sue Jackson versus Joseph Schwartz. Live. We're working on our charity connections. Everything Wrestle Arts does is for the betterment of the community. It's a not-for-profit registered with the state. Lots of God Save the Queen. Hopefully it'll save me. Yeah, dude. Big, he doesn't really do bookings anymore, but he agreed to do uh, Wrestle Arts. He's been down since the school shows, man. Uh, he likes the, you know, even though Big Sue is a real dick, he also uh, is a real sweetheart, man. They were both fan favorites at the school shows. Remember yeah, for the, sure. Uh, the Tar and Feathers? That was Big Sue, right? Yeah, Big Sue did the Tar and Feathers. Schwartz, man, he, uh, he challenged, uh, what, Kevin Thorne. He's fought for the Global Openweight Crown. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Rob Conway. So he's got a, oh, gross, it's burnt. This is gonna. God damn it! How do you even know how to cook this, dude? <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason here, man. It's just disgusting. 
Oh, dude. I'm an award. Right I'm an award-winning chef, dude. What am I doing with my <laughs> life? Ugh. Can't even have our kidney on here and try it live. Very good. I'm gonna give you an. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let me. Really, it's not even up that high. You would think that. Oh, it's not. So it's this steak. This is the part that was down inside the pan. That's why it's so crusty. The other side's not burning. It's the uh, the mayonnaise is burning to the bottom of the pan. So I'm just gonna huff this in. So I, I literally you might have to open the yeah, I might just die. We might have to open the garage door. You can oh see, God. you can Sorry. see my computer over here. Oh my God. Uh oh, his brother legit knocked me out during training with Drake. <laughs> I didn't even know his brother was. Uh, I didn't even know his brother was training. Uh oh, got some Schwartz Schwartzy emotes. You guys can get those if you uh, check out uh, Schwartz's tw Twitch. Randy, can you uh, link that down there so we can people can click on that and check it out too? Guys, if you are uh, doing anything creative out there uh, on any sort of social media platform, so people can follow you, make sure you link yourselves in the chat. Uh, we have time. To show everybody some love here, man. So make sure you guys are posting those links in the chat. So everybody... Dude, it's literally... I'm just huffing clouds of debt. I feel like my... Uh, my grandpa is watching down on me from heaven and he's very disappointed. God rest his soul. He would try it, though. My grandpa would try anything would that I was doing. My grandpa... Try, yeah, my grandpa was a true G. And I mean a classy kind of G, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, check out Excalus. Big Jake over there, Jacob Johns. I'm trying to block out what is happening here, dude. It stinks. Uh, it does not look good. I'm trying to get all sides of the steak here, so hopefully... Can make a little aioli with that leftover mayo? No, dude. I'll throw this in the friggin' trash. <laughs> Oh, it's so gross. I don't know why I'm stirring the mayonnaise, dude. I'm not going to do anything with it. You guys asked for this. Wow, dude. ton of people watching, man. Hell yeah. Whew. Yeah. The worst part is I'm going to have to clean this up. Let me see if I can find a place that doesn't have burnt crap on it. Good thing that we have that, that good cookware that is really easy. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, it's almost doomsday. <laughs> hey, can you do me a favor? Can you grab uh, one of the cutting blocks? One of the boards? They are all in the house. Dude, we're getting close. I'm not looking forward to this. Thank you. Look at this, dude. Look at this piece. Look at that, dude. It's friggin' disgusting. Yo, Big Raj in the house. What is up, dude? Good to see you, brother. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, here, let me hand this off to you. Thank you very much. Your help is much appreciated. Let me give you this lid. This bullshit ass lid, dude. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life anymore. I used to win Best of Indy every year. Yo, what's up, Brainy? How you doing? Thanks for coming. Appreciate you. Uh, you came just in time to watch me die. Roger. Just to catch you up, last week we watched a video where some guy cooked a steak and mayonnaise. Some people thought that it looked good. Some people speculated that it might be good. So we decided, what the hell, man? Let's cook this bitch. 
let's see what's going to happen. And I'm telling you, it, uh, I'm not holding out hope. This steak could be well done at this point. I can't even tell because it's got... All right, so we're at about medium well. I think I'm going to call it there, obviously. Yeah, these are about medium well. So medium well it is. Normally, obviously, I would I like my steaks medium. I know a lot of people like a medium rare. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's covered in mayonnaise, so who gives a shit? <laughs> God, dude. Oh, I'm so grossed out. This looks horrible. Right, can I hand this to you? I'm going to unplug this and get it out of the way. Oh, dude, it's freaking got mayonnaise oil all over. I'm probably going to burn myself. Oh, all right, it's cool over there. Guys, I'm sorry that everything is a wreck over here, but like I said, we just finished filming a pork belly video, and I'm just... I'm going to let it rest for a minute. Dude, I've never wanted to do anything less in my life than this. I really this. don't think it's going to taste bad. I think it's... Dude, it stinks. And that's that's enough for me. Let's get a couple of shots here. Huh? you need a knife? Oh, I got knives. Come on. Come on, man. I just showed her. <laughs> oh, All right. Let's go. Oh, my God. One by one, every knife is getting dirty. Guys, if you uh, want to support me, you know, you can go click on my Amazon links on YouTube and buy whatever you want. I'll get a little commission for it. All right, let's cut the sun bitch open, dude. Dude, there's mayonnaise all over the tongues. Ugh. So. If you look at it, there's graying here on the meat. So we did not get it even cook at all. The inside is like medium well yeah, we for sure, which is, I guess, what we thought it was going to be. Let's take a look at this one. Honestly, I've gotten... This one doesn't look so bad inside. The gray ring is kind of kind of big, but... Um, I don't know, dude. The inside does not look as bad as I thought. So I'm a little stoked on that. Yeah, get that God Save the Wing, the Queen, the Wing. We're a little bit, we're, we're running like a week behind right now, uh, just because uh, you know of, of supplies. I think this steak here is a little better than the other one, so let's go with this one first. I, all right, I'm just gonna touch it, dude. I don't really want to touch this steak. But I'm going. To, all right, so weirdly enough, it doesn't feel bad. What do you expect it to feel like? I don't know, goo. <laughs> I almost licked my finger, but I don't know if I want to do that. Do it. I think I just need to eat, just go all in on the meat, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right. You, you just set yourself up for those things, you know? Oh, no, another meat joke. Meat jokes galore. All right. Again, let's get a close look. It honestly doesn't look as bad as it smelled. Guys, this is some bullshit. It honestly is not that bad. It actually tastes kind of kind of good. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat a steak like this. It's kind of tough. Oh, dude. Hold on, check this out. If you like that Yellow King, check out this Carcosa, Rob. Or Roger, I'm sorry. Uh, check this out. Bam. It's so good. It's a spicy It's a Yellow Nashville King. hot. Yeah, it's got Nashville hot infusion. All right, dude. So, the initial flavor is not so bad. It's tough. It sucks. I mean, it's not good, but I mean, it's kind of juicy. Like the initial bite's not so bad. 
it gets worse the longer you chew on it. Because it's not cooked particularly well. Um, Alright guys. I'm going to do the... Oh, dude, that one is... Ah! It's gooey! Alright, let's... Let's do this. Yeah, it's... Oh my god, dude, it's so dry. Look at this one. Look at that. Can you guys see that? I feel like I'm about to play Prince of Persia and hit the sands of time. I'm going to dip this in some of this juice. That has a weird taste to it. I don't love it. I don't love it. Oh, it's the, uh, I think it's the burnt crust. You know what I mean? Oh, From yeah. sitting down inside uh, where it was sitting on the bottom. Soaked up all that mayo. Burnt mayo. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Lord Christ. Oh, you want to try a bite, Nicole? Sure. You're going to try it? I think it'll be good, so I don't want a burnt piece, though. Give me that medium. Here, you want to you wanna eat this whole chunk? No, no, no. No, just the little one. This one wasn't so... <laughs> the other one was rough. All right, Nicole's going to try it. Big Raj actually lives, like, just a few houses down from me. We live on the same street. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, I'm going to eat this last bit of orange juice. So, what do you think? She does She... She looks pleasantly surprised. I don't think it's bad. It's not as buttery as I thought it would be. You can definitely taste the egg. Yeah, it tastes like you cooked the steak in egg. So, <laughs> yeah, the first <laughs> one was... It's weird. The first one was not, as, not that bad. Mm -hmm. The second one tastes like, I imagine, Bigfoot running through the woods all day. Sweating, not showering, not bathing. I'm the no, then he then he dips his dick in the steak mayonnaise. <laughs> it tastes like mayonnaise and Bigfoot's dick. Oh my god. God, that's horrible, dude. All right, so. Now I taste egg. That's all. It, the aftertaste is all egg. I'm not gonna eat the rest of the steak, guys. Oh man. Uh, okay. Whew. I don't know what to do now. I'm I'm a little okay. So. I don't taste any island fire at all. Yeah, there was no, no there was no save in this. It, I literally just wasted some island fire. Um, and the island, island fire sauce is pretty good, really. It is, yeah. It's a, oh, excuse me, I just burped like a jerk, dude. Jeez. Looks like I'm doing chug videos with uh, Vin Dog. Uh, Bigfoot dick on a pole match at the next flop house. You can do that. I'll never forget one time I was on a show and there was a dildo on a pole match. Uh, and the match ended by inserting the dildo in the oral orifice. So, you guys, we got 15 minutes left. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I was going to save this for TikTok. But since we're here, and my mouth tastes terrible, let's go ahead and try some of this Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Dream World. You want one too? Sure. These little cute cans. These little cute boy cans right here. Look at these. Look at those guys. Why do they always have glue on them? Like, why is there glue on the can, dude? You yeah. like this? You like this stuff here, the uh, Dream World? Mine doesn't have any glue. Let's try it out, dude. The can is very cute. I like the design. It does have an it's interesting very, design. Like, 80s. I tried the uh, the Coca Cola Bite, and you could you could uh, see that video on TikTok. It's coming more everywhere. My TikTok sucks. Nobody really looks at it, but I'm gonna try and post more stuff on it here. It smells kind of, kind of fruity. Let's have a drink. Is it raspberry? Huh. What is that? What is that flavor, guys? Is it raspberry? Mm, I think it. Like a, I think it tastes kind of like uh, mango-y. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. I don't hate it. It tastes better than Pepsi Zero Mango. You guys ever had that stuff? It sucked. That's not true. Pepsi is usually far superior. My brother David, he loves Pepsi Zero Mango. Um, 
Yeah, I think it is mango, and I uh, I'm gonna give this one out of what should we rate it out of ten? Sure. If five is if is average, as far as uh, zero drinks go, I'm gonna say it's like a seven. Yeah. I think that's a fair judge. It's not the the best zero sugar uh, flavor I've ever had, but I don't mind it. I would drink this again. I don't know if I'd buy it again, but I drink it again. And so what I'm gonna do is clip this, and then I'm just gonna put this on TikTok. I don't because, think that I would buy this. Hmm. Guys, I guess I'm going to cut it a little short. I might, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to drink it warm. I mean, do, do not drink Pepsi Zero Mango warm. It tastes terrible, dude. Don't drink Pepsi at all, ever. No, Pepsi is <laughs> far superior. But Coke is good. It's just not Pepsi, you know what I'm saying? So, I was trying to think and see if I had something else. I don't. So, I guess uh, my stomach is feeling a little weird. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this sh stuff up. i got a bunch of stuff to clean up, and I feel kind of sad with the turns that my life has taken. But seriously, though, guys, thank you so much for, for joining me. We had a lot of activity in the chat. We had a lot of people lurking. We still got a good chunk of people. Hit 40 followers. Yeah, 40 followers. We're 10 away. So theoretically, by next week, we could be uh, an affiliate, which would be super dope. Once that happens, I'll find some cool stuff uh, that we can add in for bits and all that. But um, thanks for watching. We'll be back next Tuesday. We will have... Monday. Monday, dude. Why do I keep saying Tuesday? I will not be here on Tuesday next week anyway, but I will be there on Monday. <laughs> I'll have some hot trash videos. I already got some lined up. I already got the stuff so we can make those spam egg rolls. So maybe next Thursday we'll do Wednesday. two... Wednesday. Oh, my God. Yes, next God. Wednesday. Maybe next Wednesday we can do uh, another, you know, we'll do the, the egg rolls. Spam's not going to go bad, so we can do that. And we'll do um, something else. So maybe we'll find something on the video. Say, yeah. Say what? Monday. Monday. Wednesday. Wednesday 10 o'clock. And if you guys keep showing out, we'll, uh, maybe we'll start at 930 uh, in the next couple weeks. And we'll go for an hour and a half. Uh, this has been a lot of fun for me. I really enjoy doing this. I enjoy getting to talk to you guys and interact with you guys. So thanks a lot. Skullandmortar.com. Skull and Mortar on YouTube. Oh, dude. All you did was miss me lose my life, Master Hooks. Um, but, yeah, we'll be back next Monday. What would you say? I can watch it later. Yeah, you can watch it later in the replay. I'm just – I'm – I really should have ended this. I apparently have the same problem American Horror Story has. It doesn't know when to stop at the logical end point. So I'm going to go ahead and stop now. We're donezo. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Match. Skull and mortar everywhere. Terry's mom's a hoe. Holler at your boy.